What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna go over one of my favorite strategies in the options market that allows you to generate passive income. The strategy we're gonna be talking about today is one used by many institutions. However, they the way they use it requires hundreds of thousands of dollars. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to um, use this strategy. And two, I'm gonna show you some great stocks that you can use this strategy on that don't require too much money uh, to do so. The strategy we're gonna be talking about today is the short put strategy. And I know a lot of people have heard of this strategy before and they say, oh, I don't wanna short puts because the returns are so small. But I'm gonna show you how to generate amazing annualized returns if you do it and you use the strategy the right way. So basically the way a short put works is, you know, let's say we go to Corsair stock as a random example. Let's say you are okay owning shares of Corsair for the long term. If you want to, you can just buy the shares on the open market and hold for a couple years or whatever your time horizon is. Let's say you want to speculate short term on the direction of Corsair. You might buy a call option, you might buy a put option, you might day trade Corsair stock, but the better route to take is the short put strategy as long as you're comfortable owning the shares for the long term. So what you can do is Corsair, and this allows you, this is what allows you to generate the quote unquote passive income, but Corsair stock right now is at $17.22. You can go to let's say the 15 strike put option that expires on September 16th. That 15 strike put option is going for around $35 right now. So you can sell that 15 strike put option and get paid $35 cash today. The only downside is that if Corsair closes below your strike price, so in this case $15, on September 16th, you will have to buy 100 shares of Corsair stock at $15 each. But if you're okay owning Corsair stock anyways for the long term, that's okay. Essentially, you're getting paid to buy a company that you like and you're willing to own for the long term at a low price. Right now, Corsair is at $17.22 and you're getting paid $35 to buy the stock at 15. Doing this again and again and again on quality stocks is a great strategy to do. The only downside is that a lot of people you know, are, are huge fans of very expensive stocks like Tesla that's trading for $882 a share. So the downside is like, realistically, you can't sell a put on Tesla unless you have like fifty to $80,000 cash on the sidelines. And that's not realistic for most people, but that's okay because that's what this video is for. We're gonna be looking at low price stocks that can allow you to start generating passive income today if you really wanted to. So let's get right into the list. So do your research on all these stocks beforehand. These are just some stocks I have on my watch list. Only sell a put option on a stock if you are okay owning a stock for the long term. Do not sell a put on a stock if you are not okay holding the shares for the long term because in the event the stock crashes or the stock market continues lower, you will own shares of this company. Okay, so I'm gonna say that. So let's get right into the list. The first one is Palantir. Palantir has a lot of potential. It was trading at a very aggressive valuation, especially when it first IPO'd. It has highs of $45 a share, and right now it's lingering just under $10 a share. What this means is that if you want to, you can sell a put option on Palantir from anywhere from the $6 strike price to the $10 strike price, which really means you only need $600 to $1,000 to start generating passive income with Palantir stock. Basically what you would wanna do is if you're okay owning shares of Palantir for the long term, you can go to the options chain. Normally you want like maybe like 10 to 35 days until the option expires. Uh, that's like normally the sweet spot in terms of like expirations. And then from that point you'll you know, just want to go, um, you know, you can go at the money if you wanted to, or you can go like slightly out of the money. In this video, we're gonna go slightly out of the money, but you can sell the nine strike Palantir put and get paid $35 
cash today and it only basically here check this out so right now if you have nine hundred dollars in your account and you are fine owning Pal owning palantir shares for the long term you can sell a nine strike palantir call right nine strike call for thirty five dollars it will require you to have nine hundred dollars cash in order to enter this trade so it costs you thirty five dollars divided by nine hundred dollars that's a three point eight percent return people are going to be like are you kidding me? It cost me $900 for 35 days only to generate a $35 return. There's no way I'm doing that. But check this out. It's actually an amazing annualized return. You're getting a 3.8% return over 35 days. So let's say we divide this by 35 and then multiply it by 365 to convert this into an annualized return. That gives you an annualized return of over 40% by doing this strategy, 40%. Now this is assuming you don't get assigned, but even if you do get assigned, you can like sell covered calls or just own the shares and you might even get a higher percent return. So the main reason I show you this math is because you're gonna sell put options and the returns at first are gonna look bad and low, but when you convert them to annualized numbers, they are very, very good, okay? So understand that. Um, with the next stock, we have Warner Bros. Discovery. This stock is also beaten down a ton. Uh, just over the past year, it has highs of $31.55. I know they like, kind of like spun off with AT&T, and it's kind of like a weird situation. However, the stock is very low right now, and uh, it's trading at a pretty decent level, and it's only trading for like $13.57, so it's not at a bad level. I have been selling puts on this stock. Um, with the next one, we have Smith & Wesson, also trading at a decent level, right around uh, just under $15 a share. The next one, we have Corsair, trading right around $17.20 per share. Uh, after that, we have Upwork, UPWK, just under $20 a share. With the next one, we have AT&T, which not only is at a low level, but it also pays a decent dividend. So what's really cool about this one is you can kind of generate double passive income with this one because you can sell the put on it and you can get paid a premium to do so. And if you get assigned shares, there's a decent chance that not only will you, you know, not only will you collect the premium from the short put option, but you will also get paid a dividend. So it's like a double passive income opportunity with these dividend paying stocks. But what's more important than anything else is that you're getting the stock at a good valuation. Like if the stock is extremely overvalued, then it's like, it's not the same. So keep that in mind. But AT&T is not bad right now. With the next one, we have good old DraftKings, just above $20 a share. So that's nice. Um, lots of growth potential over the long term. After that, we have Intel, another uh, dividend paying company. Uh, Shopify is another one, high growth. Uh, it's right around $40 a share. Next one, we have Citigroup, right around $54. $4 a share. This one's a little bit more expensive, but uh, is at a pretty good level and pays a decent dividend and um, has potential for uh, share appreciation. And then with the last one, we have Walgreens trading around $40 a share. Another dividend paying company at a decent valuation. The stocks I just went through are all trading at decent levels in my opinion. Of course, do your own research and make sure you're fine owning these companies before you ever even think about selling a put on them. But you can sell puts and get paid to buy the stock at a low price. Basically, you can kind of hope that you know you don't get assigned shares if the put expires in the money, but even if you do, you might get a higher percent return because you might be assigned shares at let's say $15 with Corsair, and the stock might be at 18 or $20 in a year or two from now. And along the way, you can sell covered calls. So before you even think about making a move, make sure you fully understand the short put strategy. I hope I explained it in a good way. If you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Also, Investopedia is an amazing resource for anything in the stock market. If you look up short put strategy or the cash secured put strategy, it will tell you a lot more about it. But uh, I'll tell you, shorting put options is my favorite strategy out there because you literally get paid to buy shares of stock at a low price. It's like, it's very hard to beat that. And the main reason everyone doesn't do it is because one, it does require some money to get started. Like you can't just have $50 and start generating passive income from the stock market. Like 
at the bare minimum, you need like a couple thousand dollars. But then even for people who have a couple thousand dollars, they don't do the strategy because they say, oh, I'm only getting a 4% return over 35 days when in reality, that's a giant return. People just, people want to gamble and want those 200% returns daily. So um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, shorting puts is a great strategy. Definitely uh, check it out. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, have an amazing weekend.